everyone and welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida and here at the Cove we do budgeting, finances, cash stuffing, DIYs, minimal planning, functional planning, all that great stuff. So um, I hope that you would consider subscribing. If you are interested in the cash stuffing, stay tuned. Okay you all, so first things first. One, I got a new calculator. I actually have two new calculators. Um, this one came from my good friend, Anika, over at Anika's Creative Closet. She saw last week that my calculator was broke. So she got me this calculator and I am ever so grateful. So I'll be switching between these two calculators. Um, I got this one because, you know, I always have to tilt this one up. So I wanted to be able to see the number while it laid flat. So Anywho, also, I'm going to be introducing y'all to a new insert that I created, which is the envelope breakdown. I'll be showing you how I use it. Um, also, it's a very low cash stuffing today, okay? This week wasn't as great. We'll get into that when you see my next video, which will be my budget for the week video. But I wanted to, I always know that when I say, oh, I shouldn't stuff because I don't have a lot to stuff, those are the videos that do the best. So today we're only stuffing $25. So let's hop right on into it. I will not be using a cash drawer because it is unnecessary. So we're going to be going to my wallet. And this was supposed to be like my tips where I build my tips to have cash stuffing. This is all that I had this week. This one not $1. So this it ended up being like change broken up and what i had left after i paid boots rent the cash and also i had to unstuff just a couple of envelopes because i had a lot of things to pay this week some things didn't get paid we'll get into that when we see my budget video and i thought i was going to need pretty much um some of the money so also this is change and things that i kind of unstuffed and this is what is left so that is why we have so little this week. Um, only worked like two days this week. So let's count it out. But yeah, it was a little rough this week. But you know, that comes with the territory. And sometimes it's just like that. So we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And I, like I said, I wasn't going to do a video because I was like, nobody wants to see that. But anywho, so also this is a new sticker in the shop. It is our Yodi character and she has a cash stuffing envelope. Also, we have new cash stuffing envelopes, um, stickers. But let me break down how this is going to work. So this is September... So you have your envelope breakdown. I decided to add a little color since some of you like color. And then you put the month here, the week, the total. And then here um, you can list, this is for high priority sinking funds, low priority sinking funds. If that's something that you don't need and you just need double lines, you can just kind of X that out, ignore it, put a sticker over it, whatever. And then here at the bottom, you have your total in row one, your total in row two. And then here, here's your money tracker. So here, this is how I'm filling it out. My money in was $25 and I'm getting it from the source of hair. Money out would be the 25. Um, no, I don't need that. I just thought about it. Well, money out, you can see if you need money out of these envelopes. Let me scratch that out. So I filled that out wrong. Money out is what you're taking out of the envelopes. The sinking funds is 25. That's what you're you know, your total here, and then the cash envelopes, which will be listed here. But as you can see today, we're not stuffing our cash envelopes, so that's why there's a zero. So let me break that back down again, because obviously I misunderstood my own self. <laughs> but the money in that you have coming in is $25, and my source is from here. Um, the money out is when you want to take something out. You can come back and look when you need to take something out. And then you break what it's for that you're taking the money out for. And then here's your sinking funds again total and your cash envelopes total. So your sinking funds will be these two combined. So here it'll be 25. So, okay. So I hope that was easy. And it looks a little lightish gray here, but there is a little color here, boxes, and this is like a lightish taupey color. And when you print it, you can print it with color, or you can print it um, 
on a gray scale if you're just not fond of too much color and that's what i do sometimes so um, here we are so this is what we're going to be stuffing today we're going to have emergency fund five dollars um the dollar challenge five ones and then here we'll have five dollars in business supplies five dollars in a week ahead and then five dollars in planning so i wanted to redo this insert because the original one that i created last year um it just didn't leave room for a total so this will be part of probably a budget bundle that i'm working on um i haven't heard back from my graphic designer so i may be doing it myself so let's move that to the side so now i know what i'm stuffing and i'll just put that to the side and let's straighten up these ones so it's going to be very quick today so we don't have to stuff our cash envelope but the first one we're going to go to, which is my high priority to me. And we're going to give the $1 challenge five ones. Just going to stuff that first. Yeah, so I really like this. This is just such an easy challenge. So that's why I try to contribute to it. We're not stuffing Christmas, um, taxes, savings. Oh, and my savings, I didn't get a chance to put back in my savings what I took for my daughter's tire. So, nonetheless, we'll get back on track with that, all of this. Um, emergency fund, I kept saying, God, I really had planned to put 50 in there, but I'm just going to put what I can. And this is one thing I didn't touch. Like I told y'all, I just refused to touch this emergency fund because now i know how important it is to have one so that'll be getting a five dollar bill and so now emergency fund has 100 i'm sorry 50 100 120 130 140 45 50 55 60 160 dollars so i'm gonna put that on my tracker and so we're done with that envelope so emergency fund now has $160. So as y'all can see, you just add a little something. It's just building. I've been doing this for two weeks. So well, three. this is my third or fourth week. I don't know, but it's building. So next I'm going into my low priority. And I'm looking to do some things, you know, here in the shop. So we're skipping nail supplies, household business supplies gets this is the envelope that we're stuffing it gets five dollars so five six seven eight it now has eight i want to um there's something i'm working on and um I'll need to get some things ahead of time for it. So be on the lookout for that. I can't tell y'all just yet. I've been thinking about it for about a year, but um, gotta have money for it. Okay, so we're done with this envelope. Excuse me, this binder. We're going over, it's still considered our low priority binder. This is my file effects. I don't know why I still have these in here. I just really need to take these out. We're going over to a week ahead. And then I did take money out of the booth rent envelope. So, and a week ahead gets five. That's our last $5 bill. So, a week ahead now has 10, 15, 20, and 25. And I thought about it, you guys. I said, I need to make this envelope um, breakdown available for those who digital plan. So I'll be doing that, working on that this week. Okay, so we have 25 on week ahead. The next one is planning. <sighs> if anything, I'm still debating after this week because I need to have at least half of the money to go, to go out by the 29th. I don't see that happening, but I'm just going to stuff it anyway because you just never know. So, planning gets five. One, two, three, four, five. Plus, I did buy some planning um, supplies this week. And I could pay myself back or whatever. Maybe next week if I decide if I'm going or not. And then I'm pretty sure there'll be 
some tickets around available around maybe um, tax time. If it's some available around tax time, then maybe I'll go. But if not, if I don't have it by the 29th, I'm not gonna worry about it because I don't want to stress myself. And it's right here. And if I want to go see my friends here, um, you know, I live in DC. So if I want to go see my friends, I can just go down to the convention and meet them outside, you know, whatever. So anyway, we have 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. We have 55 in planning. That built up really quickly because I was determined I wanted to go. And like I said, I still may go because I'm sure there'll be tickets. Because people, everybody don't have um, that type of money right away. And it'll be tickets available. I'm just going to assume. So my goal for this is to be able to stay at the hotel all the nights. But I don't want a roommate because, for one, I snore. Two, I need the alone time. So... <laughs> Um, I want to be able to pay for a hotel for three nights. Of course, my entry, buy products, eat, all that great stuff. So it's in the thousands that I'd like to save this. So, um, yeah. So that's it, you guys. That is all of our cash stuffing. We stuffed everything. Now, if we want, let's do a total. So we have 165. Wait a minute. I didn't count the, you know, what the total was. So I'm just going to put 160 because I'm not counting. Um, my ones yet. I'm going to wait because I may use those for Christmas. And then total over here, we have eight. Because I never go in and count the total amount. So this envelope is like. Uh, envelope breakdown is perfect. There is $88 in my low priority funds. So 88 plus 160 is 248. Wow, 248 total. Um, and then I'm gonna put a slash over here and I'm gonna put 248. That'll kind of give me an idea, idea for next week. And it is front and back. So next week you can put, it'll be October, I think. Maybe September, October next week. And then that way you can carry over your total. So I try to make my inserts very simple. I don't want them to be too difficult, um, especially for me. And I don't want to definitely not be difficult for you. So that's all I have today, today you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell, the little red bell, and come back for more. Also, I'll do my best to list this in the description bar if you're interested in it. Um, it does come in four sizes, half letter, letter, uh, what else? A5 and classic HP. Um, I'm thinking, I kept saying A5, but I'm thinking of adding mini HP to it. Because I know, I think I used mini HP to budget before. Um, but th if there's a size that you're interested in for this envelope breakdown, let me know. And also, I think I'll do it in personal, which is considered A6, so that you can put it in the back of your binders. So look out for that. But for right now, I'll list the listing below. Um, check it out. Um, they're only like $1.55, I think. So I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.